Yeah, for this video, we're gonna swap out the steering wheel buttons um, for basically brand new little covers that go on this one. For this video, we're gonna be removing the airbag and basically there's gonna be screws here and one screw behind this button right here. Now the tools we'll need will be a set of T little bits and we'll use a T30 and a T smaller screwdriver T10 a little bit. Now we need the T30 to access bolts that hold the airbag from the behind. So let's start the car. And again, for this video, you'll need to turn off um, the battery. So make sure you kind of position it, um, each bolt on the side towards the bottom because it's easier to screw. So I'm gonna go ahead and start it. If you look over here, you're gonna see a little bolt here, a little. You'll, or you're gonna put a, the T30 bit in there and there's gonna be one here. So I'm gonna position my steering wheel like this. I'm gonna turn it off. So we take our T30. This one right here. Now I go into this hole. For complete movement, side now. Can we get your wheel? Okay. To the other side. Start swirling around. I wouldn't really disconnect the airbag wires. Just try to work around everything. Because if you disconnect it, then you're gonna get a bunch of chick, uh, airbag lights and all that stuff. Have to erase some codes. I would recommend touching that. So now we have, we can turn this back like this. Okay, now we lift up, lift this up a little bit. And now we'll need to unscrew, maybe walk to the other side. Yeah, we'll basically need to unscrew that little bolt behind the wires. It's a little silver one. Show it. Oops. We'll be right that one over there. So I'll just move the wires from here a little, so. Okay, I remove those wires and you can see that bolt over there. So there it is, that little T10. Um, and we just unscrewed that one and it's gonna give us access. It's gonna take that button in the back that I showed you, this one right here. We're gonna, have, we're gonna have the ability to pop it open and then there's gonna be another bolt, bolt underneath here. It up. Okay, now as we see the bolt came off. Okay, so here's the bolt that came out. Just gonna bag back into that place so as you see we can pop this out now 
and then there's going to be a little bolt behind there. So this was a T T27 for this side. So for this bolt, it's T27. So now we just kind of unscrew this. Now, once we take this bolt and unhook the wire over there that I hooked initially to show you that bolt, now we wiggle it out and boom, it pops out. So that's how it looks. I can place this back for now. So now we have our button. Now, this was my original one. That's how it looked like. So we'll need to take this apart. This will have three Phillips screws in there. I already kind of worked on it, so I just didn't put them back. Um, you can also not put them back, but because it was kind of hard to turn them. So I just decided not to, um, since these are Chinese, they're not original. Um, and I'll sh share a link. I bought them on AliExpress. Alibaba or AliExpress, yeah. Oops. So now we take this piece off. And this is what we'll need, um, in this little rubber this is actually the button itself so the button itself remains original the only thing that's different is that plastic casing this one that's how it looks inside basically the same part so you take this one like this yeah, that's where it was right there. So now you take this piece. Now this is the re the reason why I'm not keeping the bolts because it clips on. It has little clips that hold it. So I think in my case I didn't want to really force those bolts in there. Just this. Just pop everything in. Yeah, but it's nice and secured so we just go be connected back in the reverse order and the same goes for this side exactly the same order so we put this one back so we just where does it connect huh? it connects right here so you can connect it after you're ready assemble it so we put this back now just kind of pushes it in like this Okay, and we go back, we find our T27 bolt. Nice and sturdy. Okay. Now we push, put this little piece back. It has a lip right here, so it just pops in there. And then you and then just hold it here. Now we take our bolt, the little one, I mean the long one, the skinny one, and we put it into that original hole that we pulled it out from. Take our T10. Now we screw it on. So we're in the beginning. Okay, now we take our bolt, I mean the wire, we disconnect it originally, we connect this button back right here. Go until it pops. Okay, right here. 
So now it's time to put the air back. back. I'm just gonna gently take it, put it back like this, turn the wheel. Yep. Like this. So we'll have a a hogo in here. Keep a two thirty. This one's tight. Then we do the same at the bottom again. We turn the wheel. Like this. Okay, right. basically that's how you change that steering wheel buttons on Mercedes. Once we use basically the original board and everything, they'll have the, our original buttons. That's how they were, which is kind of the plastic casing. But instead of looking like this, all nasty and gross, my other side that's how it looked it's gonna look nice and clean so you got a new steering wheel thanks for watching